Spring update April date announced. Like, I kind of like this how NA, you guys get to uh, have a foresight of what's coming soon. Like, Korea never get to. We have to estimate all the time. You guys are getting Hanumatan and Brel Shaza hard mode coming on April 12th. My Hanumatan guide is complete, uh, but my Brel Shaza guide is like kind of really, uh, really off from completing. Hopefully, I can make it in time. But in the meantime, uh, there are other people uh, that makes guys, so that's not too much of an issue. Uh, what's a good thing is it's coming out in the 12th, uh, and at least for Hanumatan, you, you got my stuff ready to come soon. And there's a, there's also other videos as well, but that's what I wanted to uh, talk about. Going over to the Korean one real quick. So today's update is not much because Korea is usually big update the second week, uh, and then like a smaller bug fix update on the... A first week sometimes big updates don't happen for three weeks and officially uh, this week is when the Korea first part of the Korea roadmap finishes remember at the back we got the island we got the hyper express we got a bunch of QOL updates you got some of you got I think you got some of these already right we got the avatars all these stuff and now we're at March where we got bro shots of hell and then we also got the primal island we have the content for that too. So right now, this is complete. All this stuff is actually complete. So we have to look into either a summer roadmap or like a real quick uh, broadcast to show what's coming soon for 567. The next set of updates that we're going to have after, uh, there's there will be a balance patch 100%. That's why I feel it. Uh, if it doesn't, it'd be a surprise because they always said that they're gonna balance try to balance patch every four months, and it's been four months already. A uh, maybe like a estimated estimated month ish for like Theomine raid, and get some ideas on Soul Eater or the male class that the the male class that's going to release. Okay, so that's like a more of a long thing that I'm uh is estimated for after today's update and the other stuff. Now the one funny thing that I wanted to show you here. Uh, that I want to mention was this thing. So at April Fools, <laughs> if you <laughs> if you get knocked up, you fly in a T pose. My stream sometimes when I'm doing bro hell mode, right, or any other raids. So if you get hit, you fly into a T pose. This is an April Fools joke that happened for uh, yeah uh, three days ago. Look at this, Aya yeah Aya yeah's T pose is a little higher. <laughs> the sad part is they removed it over here. Uh, I, I did. I hope they kind of like put this in a skin or something. Maybe at April Fools it'll come back. <laughs> this one is one thing I wanted to kind of mention was the hot time stuff. Is that so? This is basically the equivalent thing for uh, twist drops for Korea at least. I think you guys have this hammer already. Mm, there we go. I got this hammer. It's hammer season, boys. Hammer. -y. Dush. 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 Yep, some of you guys have the hammer, so what they do is, this is called a hot time, where you press this, and then you get to, you know, receive this, uh, because Korea doesn't have something like a, a Twitch drop. You know, if I play this for an hour, and then for fifth day, I get all this, uh, and it looks like they're giving me four diff three hammers, three hammers. I think also NA has a fever time, right? Yeah, fever time. This one is interesting. Today is Happy Mokoko Day. It's a birthday of a Mokoko chat. It's April 5th to... It's April 5th. So it's going until May 3rd. And check this out. I'll give you guys a link here. Is what they do is they usually share... Ah, uh, the fan kit. So this is like the files. What they do is they share you some of these uh, official artworks. Dear friends, like, oh, look at that. It's cool. It's cool artwork, like, for, like, wallpapers. They give you new ones uh, every season, I think. And the new ones came out. And this is the link here. And uh, you'll have the link in the description, too. And all you need to do is click the red button, and then you'll get to download it for free. For those of you guys who are interested in. They just give you, like, additional stuff for, like, lucky 100 per, uh, people will be on a raffle which all you need to do is just put the thing down. Not everyone's typing these happy birthday, uh, birthdays. And then, you know, whoever puts in uh, the commands, you know, gets to be in a raffle. But I never win these things, so 
Oh wait, I did win Loan, but I think Zeo's won, and I got into. Uh, I went there with, together with him. Okay. Now the last one I want to mention here was this is a pop up store. So this is probably almost impossible in NA because the it's too big. Or maybe it could have something in LA. But uh, usually in Korea, if I give you guys an explanation, it's a coffee store. And they do a collaboration. So this is a package where you can buy with like 27 bucks. So you get some coffee, you get some mug cups, you get like a, a, a tumbler, etc. And then you get some you get some figurines on top of it. They do this with multiple uh, Korean brands. So one time they did it with a chicken brand. So this was the Makoko Mom's Touch set. It literally costed only $15 for this whole set. So I ate so much and they give you a coupon to give you this uh, this item. Look at this, the old card pack. See, the old card pack icon. I This was the best collaboration I've ever did. They're doing another one and really, it's really cool that they're starting to do more of these because this this is pretty cool. And then the la the other one, the recent one that they did was a shoe. Yeah, remember when me and like Zeos did, uh, Benji <laughs> went there to get some of these stuff, the tires, and then get the street coupon for this items. Can't really bring this in the West, I think, because like I don't know who would do it, and there's gotta be enough people uh, to bring the traffic in. The land is too big, you know what I mean? <laughs> in Korea, like the game's popular enough, and the brand is popular enough, and the land is small. Honestly, if I were not be busy with Hell Bro or you know trying to make guides for uh, Hard Bro for you guys. Maybe an IRL stream where like, I'm gonna go get a coffee and then you make a vlog for it. I think that'd be pretty fun, actually. That'd be a pretty fun thing. As in, I'm gonna go buy a coffee, I go there, I buy it, and I come back. <laughs> Sen Foss? No, I have, a, I have a friend that lives in Busan. I might ask him. So, yes. So that was it. And then those are some of the updates. And some of you guys who are listening right now, uh, the thing that you guys should be excited about is obviously the... April 12th update for Bro and Hanumatan. That's when the game is going to be spicy, boys. That's when the difficulty kind of kicks in. Like the DPS checks. That's when it kind of kicks in. And then 5 6 is going to be hard. But 1, one to 4, you can just keep playing 1 to 4. That's like my advice. Uh, 5 to 6, you can do it later, I guess. Uh, but 5 to 6, when the difficulty kind of cranks up for like a small amount of rewards, I guess. And the Guardian raid too. If you don't like Carly Ghost, Hanumatan is a much more fun raid. Uh, it's going to be put on my guide as well. So there's that one. Be excited on the for uh, the forest side over here on the on my streams is there's going to be updates, balance patches. Balance patches when my stream gets the most fun because since I have if I go to a test server, I have every single character with relic sets and everything. So I can test every every character to see what they change and stuff. So that's the fun part for balance patches. Until then, boys, this wraps up the update. The weekly update series for my channel, YouTube channel. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, to hear some of my thoughts on the, re the new stuff. I'll see you guys again later, boys. Bye-bye.